to start with the best thing about this house. Come through to the main living area and open the French doors. And the screen porch. And this is what you have. This deck on this side is entered from the master bedroom. And then there's another deck on this side that leads down to the yard. That is the very large front porch, both sides. Hardwood floors in the entry. And to the left, the normal dining room. And pattern the floor, built in. And as you can see, you can see the pond and the golf course from anywhere at the back of the house. And come to the living area with the fireplace and the built-ins. And we're back in the entry. And just off the entry, we have a bedroom. shelves in the closet. And just around the corner, a full bathroom. we have the master bedroom. There's two sets of French doors to the deck overlooking the golf course and another door going to the screen porch. And a massive master bathroom. Lots of counter space and double vanities. Large tub, shower, water closet, and a big walk in closet.
Now we're upstairs. We found the hidden door to the upstairs. It's between the breakfast area and the living area. And this is one bedroom. Pretty good size walk-in closet. And another pretty good size walk-in closet. So that's nice. And then we walk through here with a full bath, double vanities, and adjoining another bedroom with a big walk-in closet. And this walk-in closet is bigger than one of the other walk-in closets, so they'd have to, the girls would have to fight over who had the most walk-in closet space. And that's it for the upstairs, but we stairs can find. off the hallway. This is the attic access, which is really quite large and has a good bit of storage space. We just came down the stairs beside the kitchen down to the basement level garage area and just outside that door we found the fifth bedroom. And this is the fifth bedroom which is on the ground level and they're calling it a mother-in-law suite but it's on the ground level has a full bath with a shower and a big walk-in closet. Did you get the closet? Mm-hmm. And it has the type of shower that you can sit in, so it's handicap accessible. So I guess it would be a nice mother-in-law suite if, my, if the mother-in-law wants to be able to come in the garage and not see the rest of the family on the way. And then the rest of the garage, I'm guessing this goes outside. We have three bays to the garage. that much more space here, so the fourth section of space, there's a water here, and then we have all of this space back here for whatever you would want to use it for. It's a ton of space, 1,900 square feet of space. Looks like they used it as an office, maybe a party room. You can see the pond from here. Lots of extra space down here. But what I was trying to figure out is if there would be a way to make the upstairs more accessible from the garage. If you were pulling into the garage, a more accessible way to get upstairs than to go up these very steep stairs right here. And if my husband will bring the camera here. So we've got these stairs going up here, but then we've got all this space over here that we have to work with where we could maybe do a multi-level platform or put in an elevator or both. Are you mm. working with me mm -hmm. visually? Mm -hmm. You could come this way.
Imagine this is your backyard. So we come up the steps, which are angled and have a landing, to the front door. This really nice, large porch. Imagine this is your backyard. Okay, here's the dining room. And the only way this dining room could work would be to take out that wall. And if you took out that wall, it would open all of this up to there. And then all of this would be opened up and you would have your laundry room and pantry here with the kitchen here. breakfast area overlooking the golf course and pond the living area I don't know how I keep getting my thumb on there overlooking the golf course and pond and I'm thinking Nancy you would want to extend this out built-ins in the fireplace and then the master bedroom with the door to the screen porch and then two sets of French doors overlooking the golf course and the pond And then the master bathroom. With the tub and the shower. Vanities. The water closet. And the walk-in closet. And then upstairs, there are two more bedrooms with a full bath. There's another bedroom down here with a full bath. And then downstairs, there's a full bedroom with a full bath and 1,900 square feet of unfinished space. under here before. So this is a covered area beyond the garage. A 
stairways up to the porch. A sink. And that's the doorway into the garage.